with, with some respect, I, I don't believe you truly recognize how damning your evidence has been to the Justin Trudeau government. You talk about Mr. Nijar exercising due diligence and researching GC strategies, but GC strategies, according to the Auditor General, receive upwards to $20 million for doing nothing other than connecting government officials with companies such as yourself. $20 million. They're a pariah. GC Strategies is persona non grata. They've lost all their contracts with the government. They've lost their security clearance. And you aligned yourself with GC Strategies, which brings into question the RCMP may be knocking on your door. So if you haven't lawyered up, you probably should be considering doing that. GC Strategies <laughs> testified, not under oath, but there is a presumption of telling the truth at committee to committing criminal acts, criminal acts of fraud and forgery. And this is the company you aligned yourself with to the tune of almost $400,000. Is that correct, Mr. Nijar? Thank you for your question. Um, KPMG is not aware of anything related to GC strategies outside of the work that the we The amount performed. of the contract was at $400,000? The amount that we charge GC Strategies for the cyber four hundred thousand dollars. They receive fifteen to thirty percent for doing nothing. Order. The government could have contacted you Just one directly. Second. Mr. Brock, I've stopped the clock. I have a point of order. I, I didn't I didn't recognize the name. So if you could identify yourself again. Is it Mr. Biddle? Hi, my name's Chris Biddle. Hi, been colleagues hi, for hi Mr. Nine Biddle. I, th I thought it was you. I wasn't one hundred percent sure. So I, I heard you in the earpiece, but uh, yes, enough, you have a point of enough. order. Um, I, I didn't raise the point of order when Mr. Nobody knows who you are, first time. He, He's cutting off, as the witnesses are answering his direct questions, I know it's um, uh, an issue of um, intense uh, interest for all of us, but um, he's cutting off the witness at all of their answers, even as they're answering the question. Uh, it's not that they're being evasive, and I'm having a hard time okay. hearing it, and I imagine the translators uh, will be experiencing the same thing as well. All right. You just let them answer. Th thank you for raising that. Um, Mr. Brock, if you just kind of keep that uh, in mind um, for our, our – I'm, I'm finding the answers. I'm hearing them loud and clear, but I'm, I'm in the room. So, Mr. Brock, if you can just kind of just be aware of that for people that are not in the room, which, of course, is their right as members to, to Zoom in virtually. So, I'd, so Mr. Nigar, you indicated you didn't know about the – He's like, whatever, let me get back to my unusual, question. Unusual, if not illegal, practices by GC strategies, which you probably don't even know this. It, actually, your evidence today gives credence to what GC really stands for, Government of Canada, because it's the Government of Canada that's asking you to work with GC strategies. Now, moving on. The procurement ombudsman is now investigating a concept known as bait-and-switch, Promising resources to drive up the cost of a contract and delivering less. Are you familiar with that concept? Thank you for the member's question. Yes, we are. The Ombudsman has discussed that committee before and is now launching an investigation into this fraud. Is this a practice ever used by KPMG? Thank you for the member's question, and the answer is absolutely not. Did this ever apply to the nearly quarter billion dollars in government contracts since you received, since Justin Trudeau formed government? Thank you for the member's question. Um, to our knowledge, all of the work that KPMG has done has been uh, under the specific procurement processes set out by the government, and we are extremely proud of the quality so the of no. the work that we've done. The answer is no. Has the KPMG been contacted by the ombudsman on this matter? Thank you very much for the member's question. To our knowledge, we have not been contacted by the ombudsman's Will office. Will you work Thank cooperatively you. with the ombudsman as he investigates bait and switch? Clearly, you're going to be involved in this, given the amount of the monies that uh, you've received in government contracts. Will you cooperate? Thank you very much for the member's question. And as I said, we, of course, would cooperate with any governmental bodies that would contact KPMG. We have not been contacted to, to, uh, by the ombudsman directly. And, of course, we would come... Now, comply. Justin Trudeau has, uh, during the last oh, eight and a half, almost nine years, increased the size of the federal professional public service by over 40%. In 2015, he promised to cut back on the use of external contracts, yet in the fiscal year of 2022-2023, he spent $15.7 billion on professional and social services that year, some of that going to KPMG. Now... I know that you were retained 
by the Government of Canada as a consultant to provide an opinion or a recommendation on the government's ability to cut down on consultants. Now, leaving aside the irony of hiring a consultant to teach the government of Canada how to cut back on consultants, I personally could have saved the government almost $700,000 by simply saying, use the federal public service that you increased by 40%. Now, you released that report directly to the government, is that correct? Thank you very much for the member's question. Uh, neither Mr. Nijar nor I were directly involved in that work, but we are aware and okay. we also understand that it, it's very typical for KPMG to be called in to do third-party reviews like Thank you. that. Thank you. The report itself mm -hmm. has not been tabled uh, with all parliamentarians. Will you provide this committee with a full report? Uh, thank you very much for the member's question. Uh, as I said, neither of us were involved in that work, so I can't comment Someone on Someone at the KPMG was, and will you find out who was responsible for yep. conducting the work and to provide Thank this committee with a report, yes Thank or you, no? Thank you, Mr. Brock. Is that something you could uh, endeavour to get back to the Thank committee you. about? Thank you. I was just simply going to say that our understanding was that if the work was done for the government, it would definitely be on the public record. And if we're, sure. if we're allowed to, um, yeah. to disclose without violating confidentiality, then, then of course, we Th would be happy fine. to That's fine. We'll, we'll take it one step at a time. If you're able to get back to us on the status of that, and uh, um, uh, we'll, I'll work with the analyst uh, at this side to uh, see if that's available. And if you could report back to us on any limitations you have. Um, I do understand there are obviously client um, privileges. Um, Parliament supersedes that, but we're not there yet. So let's just let's just see where it's at first as, as the first as a first step.